And the next story for you, the Gade Foundation is awarding grants to the future of condoms. Announced in March, the Next Generation Condom Challenge sought out designs for condoms that make it easier to apply, maintain pleasure, or made for females use in hopes that more people would use them, curbing the spread of HIV, AIDS, and other disease all across the world. The undeniable and surprising truth is that most men prefer sex without condoms. And while the risk related to HIV, AIDS infections and complications for unplanned pregnancy are disproportionately bore by their partner, the foundation wrote that they, that's why they announced this competition. 11 teams have been chosen to receive $100,000 in funding from the Gates Foundation for a 12 to 18 months to spend developing new designs. Now, there's a couple of them out that are pretty interesting that I want you to pay attention to. The first one is this texture, the texture, uh, this collagen one, where it's going to be made out of collagen. And it's, very, it's very like the mucous membrane. So that means you can feel it. Heat will transfer. Um, the, the touch feels real and it feels like much like very, very real skin. The other option is um, this imitation human skin with thermoplastic elastomers. Excuse my language. Or I don't know how you pronounce that. El elastomers. Um, a plastic that, he, that they've been researching for the past 25 years. The material can be flexible for, a long period, for longer periods of time than latex and can return... Um, and, and it, so basically, and it goes back to the same dimension once it's done being used. So it's, a, it's more flexible than latex, so it won't pop like condoms tend to do. The research is still out on both of these. We'll figure out what becomes a new condom. But right now, there's people out there trying to tailor make a condom that will fit you better, that will be more comfortable, um, that will feel like skin, that will transfer heat, all the things you need a condom to do.